Welcome to Trending with Andrea Tanteros. This week on deck, the Princeton mom back in the headlines. You remember her? Well, she has a book out called Marry Smart, where she's telling college women they should spend 75% of their time focused on getting a husband at college and only 25% of the time on their studies. I'm honored you're here to have a feminist icon and very dear friend of mine join me in studio to talk about this. She's author of many books, Women's Inhumanity to Woman, uh, Mothers on Trial, and uh, her most recent book, which is fantastic, An American Bride in Kabul, the one, the only, Phyllis Chesler joins me now. Phyllis, thanks for joining me. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, let me say something about yeah. this patent phenomenon. Everyone in this democracy has a right to speak. I don't know why we're listening so hard to what she's saying. This is advice that a worried mother mm. gives a daughter who's getting beyond a certain age. You know, you really have to have a child now. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's a warm, heartfelt, practical. However, let's go back to Virginia Woolf. A woman needs, every woman needs 500 pounds a year. That means economic independence mm -hmm. and a room of her own. Because, yes, the biological clock may be ticking, but what happens if you have a wonderful husband mm -hmm. and he gets sick or he loses his job or he dies or he leaves you? How are you going to feed yourself? How are you going to feed your children? If you're going to be totally invested in marriage at a young age, mm -hmm. then that's like living in a Muslim country. And indeed, in an American bride in Kabul, I followed Patton's advice. Mm. I was at an elite college and I met a very wealthy, handsome, sophisticated man. I fell in love with him and when I was 18 and we married when I was 20. It did not end well. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, we went to Kabul and a woman like me could not survive in a place like that. Mm -hmm. But here is an example, just one personal example of you can follow that kind of advice and things might go wrong. Mm -hmm. Can't right. women do both though? And, and I want to bring up this quote because it links back to, uh, it links back to feminism. Uh, the, inter uh, the interviewer asked her about why women aren't getting married younger. And Patton believes it's because of the feminists, the early feminists, oh. which, which some would say you're a part of. They said this antagonist feminist doctrine would have women now believe that marriage and motherhood is somehow not cool. It's so retro. It's backwards. It's so 1950s. Do you think that's what the feminist movement has affected and, and influenced when you think of maybe even girls like me? Maybe this hits a little close to home. No. I'm a feminist pioneer and I've written four books about motherhood and I have launched campaigns on behalf of child support, mother's custody rights, children's rights, mm -hmm. the poetry and the, the, the sacredness of being a mother as a choice when you choose it. And I think it's important to negotiate balance and feminists have been trying to talk about that. I mean, you know, when I first heard about Patton, I thought of Maribel Morgan, 1973. She said, listen, ladies, the way that you keep your men is you greet him every night at home naked, just wrapped in saran wrap. <laughs> this is more of the same. Every generation, somebody saying, you know, let's go back to the 1850s. Let's go back to the 1950s. Because indeed, they see that you pay a price for everything. So you can't have it all. Feminists understand that. But I fear that our descendants may not. They may have thought, gee, we can do everything. And maybe we didn't, as elder feminists, say, you know, you really can't. If you're mm -hmm. going to be a CEO of a very large corporation, you're going to have a problem having four children. You're going to have a problem having one child. And these are wrenching decisions. Mm -hmm. And yes, biological clocks tick more loudly in women than in men. But think of it. If I had stayed in Kabul, Afghanistan, then I would have... No, let me put it another way. They arrange marriages there mm -hmm. because they're worried about Patton's ideas. Mm -hmm. And they have girls at 13, 14, 15 beginning to give birth, uh, dying mm -hmm. in childbirth. Mm -hmm. So if you take this advice to an extreme, it looks like fundamentalist Islam, not a good idea. 
Well, you know what? I think women today are trying to just find that balance. You know, I was told, Andrew, you can have it all, just not everything all at one time. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and so I think Patton's trying to be the mom encouraging girls to do something that may be a little unrealistic if they want to succeed and get to that ladder. Also, men aren't really emotionally developed in college, I think, to get married. But you bring up an excellent point, which is... You can have both. She is sounding what seems to be there are fears that as you get older, you have less chance of getting pregnant. Where do you find that balance? We, we run out of time, but I'm going to be bringing you back to talk okay. more about this. I have a feeling. Okay. Phyllis Chesler, author of Women's Inhumanity to Woman, uh, Mothers on Trial, and this fantastic book, An American Bride in Kabul, that she referenced uh, earlier. If you want to watch more on trending, you can go to Twitter and Facebook. Thanks so much.